people sometimes think, I'll give my dog to the shelter, they'll find him a home. Maybe years ago, but not anymore. The shelters are so overloaded and overcrowded that they have to put down an enormous population. We had 13 other litters that day that were there waiting for homes and Hope and her babies were the lucky ones. She was so thin. All of her nutrition from her body was going into her milk sacs. She was definitely malnourished when we got her from the shelter. The vet said that she needed to put on about 20 pounds or so. We just introduced them to their temporary home and just kind of let Hope relax and get to know her new environment. And that was really fun to watch her change. <laughs> We found homes for Hope's puppies fairly easy. Um, we were surprised that we got so much attention from across the country. What a good puppy. Can we think we can sit on? The mom is usually the last one to get a home because the puppies kind of steal the show. They get all the attention, they're cute and adorable, and a lot of people want to start from a clean slate. I believe that Hope and I were destined to be together. If there's one thing that someone could take away from Hope's story, it's that I hope that they can see what a pit bull is, what a pit bull has always been, but what they don't have the opportunity to be to the public because of misconceptions. Pit bulls are not the bully dogs that you think they are, and they are the sweetest, most loving, giving breed that you could ever own. I'm so happy to have her. I just love her. Hi, I'm the host of Ask a Vet. You're watching The Pet Collective Cares. Don't forget to subscribe.